Do you understand this is criminal? Yes, what I you've understand. Done? This is a crime. She's gonna take everything. Hello, the swinger. Who gives? I am going to open up the DNA test. Why? Say hi to your mother. <laughs> you know what I look like? Wow. <laughs> and this is how I rule. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anna Polo Rules. All right, let's begin with this case. Danieli, you are suing your cousin Maria, and you want her to return the amount of $7,000 that you loaned her at some point so that she could bring her boyfriend from Venezuela to the United States. Correct. Explain a little bit of the uh, situation. Hi, I'm Dr. Paulo. Hi. So I'm here to sue my cousin because I lent her, her money about two years ago. I lent her $7,000 for her boyfriend to come over here. She met him, she fell in love, and we're family. So I was so happy you know, for her. And then she needed money to bring her over, to bring him here to the United States. That was about two years ago. So you guys are not close, or are you close? We used to be like sisters. We grew up together. When, we came when, did, together. when did the relationship start to get colder? Once you gave her the money? Once I gave her the money, like beginning, like she used to like, oh, can you let me get some money, like $20 here, $30 there. You know, we're cousins, we're family. You know, she's even the godmother of my daughter. Okay. So we have that bond together. But after she asked me for that amount, I'm like, you know what? We've been good. We never had any problems before. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to lend you the money for my savings. You know, because I had a future for my daughter and my husband. We have a future to buy our oh, so house. You're married and you have a child. Yes. All right. So you were saving this money and you decided, did you talk to your husband about it? Yeah, we spoke about it. And, and he, he agreed. Of course. Yeah. He knew, he knows her. He's like, we never had problems with her. We okay. never had problems with her. And once you loaned her the money, then the relationship started to get a little cold. Yeah. After he came here, he married. She, you know, she got a little bit separate, the distance, we felt it. I was like, okay, she just got married. She wants to have her time with her husband, and that's acceptable. Okay. So now you want the money. You want the whole yeah. amount. I need the whole amount back because I gave her two years, and now she's just coming up with excuses, and I, okay. I'm tired of I excuses. I want to talk about that. When you loaned her the money, what were the terms for the return of the money? Because I, you know, I understand that between family members, we usually leave everything up in the air. Everything is vague. Nothing is clear. We tend not to write papers or make contracts and agreements because we say, hey, it's a family member. You know, what's going to happen? Yeah, But we that's where problems come around, you know? Yeah. So tell me, what were the terms for the return of the money? What, you said, here's the $7,000. I need him back by when? I didn't give her an exact date. She just told me. When he comes here, he gets his papers, he starts working, we're going to give you the, back, the money back slowly. But we didn't put no dates, no amount, or nothing. This is a formula for disaster. I, I mean, I don't know if you ever heard this, but when it comes to money, people even forget their blood and their relationship and the love. and everything. I mean, keeping money matters in a clear way will preserve a lot of friendships in the future. And that's why I always recommend... Even if it's your daughter or your son or your mother and, and you're going to lo loan some money, make a document. Say, you know, I need this money back in two years. If you cannot pay it in a full amount, let's do a, an installment payment, you know, and let's break it down because it's recommendable. Well, Maria, this sounds simple. You know, a debt is a debt. On the surface, it looks simple. But there's more into the story. Really? Of course. So you're telling me that she's not being sincere? Most of it, yes, it's true. She did lend me the $7,000. Okay. And I did bring my, now he's my ex-husband. Mm. We only lasted about probably like five months here when he decided he's in the United States. That's it. Obviously, I spoke to my cousin, which she's my sister. Regardless of what's going on, she's my sister to me. And I told her what everything was going on. She saw I was super happy with him. So she's like, she gave me no problems to give me the $7,000. Obviously, I'm not saying I'm never going to pay her back. But once my now ex-husband left, I was left with all the bills. Did he know that you borrowed this money to bring him? At the beginning, no. I just, I started making moves just to make sure I was going to get him over here. 
because okay. I wanted him over here. We were going to get married. We had to get married over there in Venezuela. So once we got married over there, when he came, we just started working. He obviously Did you tell him at some point, listen, yes, yes. I, once he I was had here, to borrow the money to bring you because I didn't have all this money. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead. I took a loan from my, my cousin, mm -hmm. and I owe her $7,000. Yes. And I told her that we were both going to pay for this money. Mm -hmm. So did you tell him this at yes. some point? Once he was here, mm -hmm. I told him, look, listen, this is I didn't get $7,000 out of nowhere. Obviously, a close family member gave it to me, my cousin, and we do need to pay this back. This is just a loan. No one just gives out $7,000 and I and, and, expect And it. what did he say? He said, yeah, at the beginning, he's like, of course. I'm going to start working and we're going to figure this out. It only lasted a few months and then he left. So then I was left with everything. I told him, look. Why, I why did he leave? Did he tell you why? No, he said, well, his friends started coming from Venezuela, so all he wanted to do was party. Did you ever ask him and say, hey, remember the $7,000 that I took yes. from my cousin to bring you from Venezuela? That's Did you ever problem. ask him for the money? He said that's not his problem. We're not together anymore. Oh, so he said this is not my problem because yes. you and I are not together mm -hmm. anymore. I would tell him everyone. What a piece of work did you find, my dear? Uh, yes. Now, be that as it may, mm -hmm. you still owe your cousin the $7,000. That's true. I do owe her that. And I never said I'm not going to pay her back. All it's right. just right after he left, I was stuck with all the bills. The house bills, the car bills, everything was... How much me. would you say you owed? I pay for my rent, 1300 My car is 535 five, and plus the, my light bill, my water bill, everything. Okay. So and, and, and you work? Yes, I work. And you make uh, how much a month, About approximately? Every two weeks, about 900, 900 so. I have all my pay stubs here. Let me see all... them. Bring them over. These are your pay stubs. Yes. You don't have, a, like, your tax returns or anything here. No. Okay, so you make about $962 bi-weekly. Yes. All right. Which is barely enough to pay your expenses. Exactly. Just what you mentioned, your rent and your car... Not to mention, I imagine you have a cell phone. Yes. You have to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do you intend to pay this money back? She loaned you the money when you needed it. Okay. And she needs she her it. money now. Okay. And this is her money. You should say, I'm going to pay it now. Where am I going to take it out of her? I where? don't know where you are. So how do you intend to pay this money back? I mean, however I you see it, whether I she's your family, intend. whatever, your sister, however you see it, mm -hmm. it's her money. Yeah. And she needs it. Of course. Why do you need this money right now? I need it because we decided to buy a house. Our family is growing. And I need the money that I gave her was from a savings that we were doing to close a house. OK. So we're finally, uh, we finally got the approval. We're closing the house. And I need every cent possible. All right. And, and, I, and I, I, I am going to assume this. You are having marital problems with your husband because he's probably yeah. very upset yeah, Sam that is your cousin super has mad. not returned the money. Yeah, because he's like, okay, do you want me to go talk to her? And I'm like, no, I don't want to talk to her because it's going to bring family fuel. So it's something I lent her, and she needs to return it. It's not like I want to need, they need it now. And of course, I know they need it. But I could get a second job. But I can't get a second job for the reason I take care of her daughter, my goddaughter. Three times a week. I pick her up from school, from because I get off of work at 3. So I pick her up by 3.30 until they get off of work, 9, 10 o'clock. Three times a week. No, so but you do it because you say, oh, I want to see my goddaughter. I barely of see her. That's I'm my goddaughter, so and I love my goddaughter. I never see her. Um, but so wait a minute. Look what excuse. she's just saying to me right now. Look what she just said to me. She said, I could get another job. And I suppose that from that other job, whatever you would make, you could pay her directly in installments so mm -hmm. that you could start paying off the $7,000. Mm -hmm. But in your mind, you're thinking that if you're taking care of your goddaughter mm -hmm. three times a week, you're somehow repaying a little bit of that, of that loan. But so we never some spoke of it. about it, though. Okay, we but it's some of it. Because she told me, <laughs> I miss my goddaughter. But you see what I people see do? Her. They, they, they reach conclusions. They make their own mental agreements. 
They forget to communicate it to the other side. Mm -hmm. And an agreement is the meeting of two minds. You cannot make an agreement in your own mind and impose it on the other person because they're receiving a benefit mm -hmm. in your mind. An agreement has to be a meeting of the minds. And there has to be consideration that is agreed upon. Mm -hmm. So if you say to her, okay, look, I am going to take care of my goddaughter three times a week. And if you would have to pay for a babysitter, she would charge you $100 a day. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it three times. That's $300 a week. Consider that as partly payment of the $7,000. That's how I see it. But that's it, not that's how you it. see it. Yeah. But she's not seeing no, it. No, but you're her godmother. You're I doing am that her alone. godmother. But you want me you to pay money. Told you me want me to pay money that I can't pay right now. For that, I go and hire a babysitter and pay the babysitter. Then, then pay the babysitter. So you, you can wait, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 wait. Wait. Let's, let's, let's try and talk it out here for a second. So you would rather have a stranger take care of your daughter and pay a stranger extra money instead of allowing her to take care of the child because she's and charging me now. She's telling me she's going to use it as a payment plan. No. You don't want it that way. No. She asked me, I want to see my God that I miss her. I'm like, yo, you want to see her? You know, fine. Take her. You know that. You're her godmother. You know, she sees that we have, we're such good, like, But family. do you need a babysitter? Well, yeah, because I work at night. But I never asked her. That's the thing. She volunteered. She's like, oh, I'll take care of her. I'll see her. So of I can. Of course. And, 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 and wait a minute. Time. She does it three volunteer. times a week. Yeah, because I told her, well, I'm working. So How what much would you pay a babysitter to take care of the child for th three times a week for however, uh, how many hours it is that you, you need? Just aftercare is $150. Do that three times a week. Yeah, but you offer it. If you would have told me, okay, of look, course let's I'm try to offer. work Do you my have any other people? Oh, okay. offer. people yeah. I, I know, have my parents I know here. you're offended because here she is making up her own agreements without informing you. I know you're upset. When you gave her the $7,000, you gave her the $7,000. Yeah. You didn't give a service in exchange for money. Okay? I understand what you're saying. All right? But this is why I told you that when you lend money, doesn't matter to whom, you make a paper. You make a promissory note, and you put the terms of the return of the loan clearly to prevent this kind of problems. You're not returning this money. My mind is clear because I'm not paying for it. Your mind is clear. I always support you. Now that I need your support, what I need you now, so what you're am I not supposed to tell, tell him to pay you the oil? Did you all hear me make the prediction? You guys are not going to be friends anymore. In any book of this life, What's better, to have a good family member that you can count on or to have an enemy as your cousin? Family always comes first, but she's putting money on top of family. No, I understand. Understand. no excuse, I understand. No, excuse I me. To put that That's a beautiful phrase. Family comes first. It does come yeah, first. Yeah, but when, wait a minute. When money is important. Of course it is. When you I work very hard and you save back. your money and of you want to buy your house, of course it is. you know something, you need your money. I'm not saying I'm not going to pay her back, but I'm just telling her. You're just not saying when you're going to do her okay. how Because I can't pay you're right now. Anything. How am I supposed to pay? You're just using when are you paying it then? When, when are you okay. paying it? Let her start taking care Can of her own daughter then. Okay, Let her. That's my now you know that you need to get yourself yeah. an, a babysitter or have your parents take care of your child. All right? Either that or you put a price on what she's doing and you deduct it from the $7,000. You have that option. It's but you don't want option. that. You no, want no. your $7,000. I need my $7. I need to put a house in my daughter. Perfect. Now, you say you have no ability to pay her. And you're living up to here because there's nothing you can do. No. In other words, you're, you're not having any luxuries. You're not having any extra fun. Of course I have fun. What do you do for fun? I travel. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. Where do you go? Puerto Rico, Canada. And where do you get and the money to pay all of that? My boyfriend. He pays for it. You have a boyfriend? Yes, I have a boyfriend. Who invites you yes. to these places, yeah. He invites me. And does he know that you owe your cousin $7,000? Yes. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he I've don't. mentioned it to right? him. Right? But that's not his problem. 
Well, he's living with you now, so he, he's you know, living with you. Thing. Yes. Oh, he lives with you. We just moved together. Yeah. So where's oh. her thousand dollars? So he rent, lives with you, and, and you guys nine. travel. Yes. And he knows you have this debt. Yes. And you go to these places and to these trips. Yes. And your conscience is clear, and you feel wonderful, and you have a good time. I deserve vacations. I work a lot. Oh, so I deserve vacations too, and so does my daughter. But you, you deserve vacations while knowing that your cousin is going through problems. She's buying a house. Her husband is giving her hell. And your goddaughter is not going to have the house I'm to run in her backyard. I'm not paying for any of my Because vacations. you're not returning this money. My mind is clear because I'm not paying for it. Your mind is clear. I always support you. Now that I need your support, what I need you now. So what am I not supposed to tell, tell him to pay you the bill? Uh, I'm not going to well, tell him. Yeah, tell him. Look, I owe my cousin. He's she needs the money. So she doesn't want the money. She needs he it has because two your other goddaughter kids needs a roof support. over her head. So he's so why why weren't you going to pay for my stuff? No, wait a minute. He has two kids to support. He can't be giving me money. Did you hear me make the prediction? Did you all hear me make the prediction? You guys are not going to be friends anymore. You're going to be enemies. And if I were you, I would be out of my head's wit. I swear, I would be so upset. That's Listen, not coming out of my something. checks. That's not when coming out of my checks. When a human being is responsible and a person has conscience, so what, what he's incapable of doing. You want, me, you want doing, my boyfriend to pay for it? I'm not going to tell him. You know, I would he's say to my boy, I would it. say to my he's boyfriend, "Listen, it. I owe my cousin seven thousand dollars. I it, it was my responsibility. I took that money." I, I can't sleep at night. I cannot sleep at night thinking that I owe my cousin $7,000. I, I cannot take this trip. I really need to get another job so I can pay her off. Or maybe you can lend me your credit. Maybe we can go to the bank. I can get a loan. I can pay her off, and then I'll pay the bank. And I'll pay you, baby. He has two other kids. I don't support. care what he has. So he's not going to give me money. He's not going to give me money for L that. Lending you his I credit. That's all I'm travel. saying. Take a of loan course. out on, under his name. Take a loan under his name and be responsible. You know what I think you are? I think you're very irresponsible. When you put yourself in my shoes, I'm so then sorry. That's I story. have been in your no, shoes. No, you have not. not. Yeah, no, you have oh, not. Oh, yes, I There's have. No way you and have. you no, are nobody to tell me. And you're no one I, to tell me. Oh, I am. Because I heard you. I heard it right from your mouth. I mean, here you are, suffering for your money, waiting to get your house. And your cousin who's playing, oh, poor me, poor me, poor me, is traveling to Canada, to Puerto Rico, having a good time. But who's paying for it? Not me. Oh, so you have a boyfriend. Yes. You have another boyfriend. No, not another one. I no, just no, have no. A right. You have <laughs> yes. a boyfriend. Yes. Take a loan under his name and be responsible. You know what I think you want? I want, I I want to pay. I think you're very irresponsible. I want to pay for it. I, listen, of course wanting, I want to pay for it. I am going to pay for it. I am going to pay for it. And doing okay. are two she different could things. Take care of, she could have someone take care of her kids. I am and I'll get a second her. job. Forget I'll about my daughter. Honestly, forget about could, my daughter. I'm gonna she can take her. care it's of her daughter. kid. It's that. obvious she has parents that can help her out. She was just confused. She thought you really loved your goddaughter. Of course I love it. You no, 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 no. No one can say I do not love my goddaughter. You know what you were doing? You were trying to clear your conscience. No, no. I it's took what care you were of her. I took care of it's her because I love her. But then I come to see her, I can't get a second job because I'm taking care of her. So take she could take care of her own daughter and I'll find a job and I'll pay for I'll pay for everything I, I owe her. But my boyfriend's not gonna get involved in this. He does not owe her anything. I owe her. Tell me how you feel now. The fact that she's using my daughter as like the I'm factor not using of her. everything. I'm not using an her. excuse. It's an excuse. Do you see what do you see what I say? Listen, I love the I love the concept of family. I think family is the basis of society, of the world, of progress. I love it. But you know what I hate about family? How we idealize the whole thing. We romanticize the concept. We think they can do no harm. We think that they're perfect. They would never deceive me. Oh no, they're my family. Well, the first people to deceive you and to stab you sometimes is family. 
And I think we should live in reality and we should be responsible. And when we lend money, we should do it with paper. We should do it with a document so that this would be clear. You came to my court today and I, you know, I am always willing to break the law in the name of justice. And I do it with a human touch. But I'm so sorry, with your little faith, you know what I think? Que tu eres una descarada. I've heard that before. That's what I think you are. And I can tell you. When you put yourself in my shoes, I'm so then that's sorry. I story. have been in your no, shoes. No, you have no, not. Yeah, no, thought, you have oh, not. Oh, yes, I There's have. No way you and have. you no, are nobody to tell me. And you're no one I, to tell me. Oh, I am. Because I heard, you, I heard it right from your mouth. You told me right from your mouth. That I'm going to pay for it? No. I'm pay for everything. But you know what? Of course it's not, not a matter okay. of paying it when job. you want and at your pace. She loaned you the money when you needed it. Okay. And she needs she her money it. now. Okay. And this is her money. You should say, I'm going to pay it now. Where am I going to take it out of her? I where? don't know where you are. So I'll, But I'm going, to, I am am going to rule in this case. And I am going to submit a judgment against you for $7,000 with 12% interest per year, payable in 30 days, in 30 days to her. And if you don't, let me tell you something. You may even face some jail time. You may even face some jail time. And you know how you're going to get out of jail? By paying the debt. And this is how I rule. <laughs> you can thank you.